When I visited a number of fruit farms in central England, I found broad agreement among most of the growers that these days it makes sense to move away from their traditional crops, such as apples, and into cherries instead. Now, in summertime, they have orchard after orchard of beautiful trees heavily laden with bright red fruit. UK cherry growers tend to choose the varieties which ripen slowly. This fruit may command a higher price because the harvest is not so early and there are always reliable buyers for it. Research is currently being carried out into ways of improving yield. A major obstacle to efficient production is the fact that growth may not be consistent from season to season. Sometimes the fruit only grows as big as a pea and then drops to the ground. Quite a few of the smaller trees are covered up against the rain and wind in a plastic tunnel. Older, larger trees have to take their chance out in the open, but cherries are a delicate fruit and optimum weather conditions are needed to achieve the potential yield of five tonnes per hectare. The surface of the fruit has very little wax on it, so cherries need to be kept out of the rain as much as possible because the skin is liable to crack when water gets into it. If this occurs, the crop may be lost because the fruit bursts with a pop, rather like a balloon. When you're selecting the best cherries to buy, don't get them if they look at all tired or wrinkled, and buy the ones with a green stem. You'll find they taste much better than ones without. People often ask, how long does it take to get a decent crop from a cherry tree? Well, there are new varieties, laden with fruit, that are only four years old. But if you go back and read the old fruit-growing textbooks from the 1960s, they tell you cherries don't give a worthwhile crop till they're 12 years old. Some varieties go on cropping till they're 90. There are three new varieties which have recently been introduced by growers. Symphony and Staccato are both highly successful so far, but Sweetheart is being planted in larger numbers than either of them and looks to be a real winner. Just one problem if you go cherry-picking this summer, how do you stop yourself eating them all? One expert who's been picking all her life told me, eat a cherry, suck the stone and keep it on your tongue. It stops you putting any more in. That way, you end up with at least a handful of this delicious fruit in your basket.